Hey guys, Freediver HD here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sandmark mask for GoPro cameras. This is a mask with a GoPro mount on the top of it, and I'm going to get in the water to check out and see how it performs. Hey guys, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Sandmark mask for GoPro cameras. Uh, so it's a standard scuba diving slash snorkeling mask with a GoPro mount on the top. Uh, today I'm going to be using it for free diving though to see how it performs So let me first talk a little bit about the design. You can see how it looks on my face. It's a uh, It's got a blue kind of a frame with uh, the clear silicone That design Might not match your black diving gear, but it definitely has a uh, tropical look It might uh, match your tropical dive gear a little bit better than it matches mine here uh, the silicone, high quality, it is, a, it is a mask with a very, very nice, high quality uh, build. It's definitely not a cheaply made mask, it's, it's not a toy, it is a quality product. Um, in terms of the fit, this fit I feel will fit most faces. It's a generous fit, it fit my face perfectly, uh, no leaking or anything like that. And the vision was also good. It's got a teardrop uh, kind of lens, so that means it's got good vision up and down. And it also has a fairly good left and right vision. It's not a low volume mask, so it doesn't fit that closely to your face. But it's not particularly high volume either. In terms of filming with this mask, the video is generally quite stable. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the shakes or anything like that. And if you're worried about the kind of drag that adding a GoPro would add onto your mask, you know, the drag or the kind of weight of having a camera mounted onto your mask, well, I really didn't find that an issue. And when I've dived with these GoPro, uh, these GoPro masks before, always in the comments I see you guys saying, oh, well, the camera could get caught or it, you know, it weighs down on the mask or something like that. Nah, I didn't feel any of that. In fact, I hardly noticed that the GoPro is there. In terms of freediving performance, I took this mask down to 22 meters and had no problems equalizing this whatsoever. So, yeah, this, this mask to me, it, it's a tool. It's, it's a tool to get very convenient first-person footage. And I would recommend it to scuba divers and to snorkelers out there. And to free divers, I would recommend it simply as a tool that if you want to get the first person view, you know, you can put this mask on, mount your GoPro and get that. But obviously you're not going to be using this uh, for your serious free dive training or anything like that because it's simply not designed for that. This is a, this is a GoPro accessory and, and it's good at being what it's designed for. So I'm going to keep this in my gear bag for whenever I need to get that first person view and I need both my hands free. Okay, so that was the Sandmark mask for GoPros and uh, thanks for watching.